Did you know that in February, we only had 722 new listings in the entire Charlotte metro area? Keep watching to learn more about what this means for potential buyers and sellers. Are you considering buying or selling a home in the greater Charlotte area? As a local realtor, I want to give you an honest and informative update on the Charlotte housing market. Hi, I'm Becky McCulley, and I'm here to provide you with an in-depth analysis of the current Charlotte housing market trends. In today's fast-paced real estate world, it's easy to get caught up in clickbait headlines and misleading information. But I'm here to pull back the curtain and give you a real understanding of what's happening in the market. While the current housing market may not be ideal for everyone, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's dire straits either. Are you interested in learning more about the weekly metric that I follow? We'll keep watching to see what that stat is and why it is a crucial indicator to monitor. All right, first things first, let's talk about new listings. In February, we only had 722 new listings in the entire Charlotte metro area. Yes, you heard that correctly. In the entire Charlotte metro area, we had less than a thousand homes put up for sale. This is a significant decrease compared to January which had 2,936 new listings. With such low inventory, buyers are struggling to find options and affordability is still a major issue. So if you're a potential home seller, now might be the best, you know, the best time to take advantage of peak pricing and get the most out of your investment. But before you make any decisions, let's take a closer look at some crucial data. As a realtor, one of the most important indicators I monitor is pending sales. In February, we only had 633 pending sales, which is a sharp decrease compared to 3,225 in January. This means that the market is currently moving at a slower pace and buyers are taking their time to make decisions. Pending sales is one of the most important stats to track in my opinion. I monitor it on a daily basis and I track it on a weekly basis because the number of homes that go under contract in a week is the best indicator of where the market is moving. Inventory of homes available for sale in February was 5,899, which is similar to January of 5,979. If we go way back to February, 2020, there were 9,748 homes for sale. This peaked in March, 2020, sort of lockdown period, to 10,574 homes. Then it went on a fairly rapid decline and has been staying between 4,000 and 8,000 units ever since. There continues to be a barrier to homeowners selling their property right now. I think part of the reason is it's considerably more expensive to move up with interest rates that are hovering close to 7%. There are a lot more first time buyers that are willing to enter the real estate market and start building their equity and wealth. But existing homeowners are more reluctant to make a move. And I get it. If I had an interest rate that was less than 3%, it would be hard to give that up. So let's talk about home prices. The median list to sales price is holding steady at 96.6%, which means that homes are still selling pretty close to their asking price. It is taking about 30 days from the time a property hits the market to when an offer is accepted. However, we're also seeing an increase in price reductions with 56 reductions in just the last seven days. So if you're a home buyer, this is a sign that there may be opportunities for negotiation and getting a better deal. But it's also important to note that interest rates are high right now and there's pressure on house pricing. So patience is key. As a realtor, I believe that the time in the market is better than timing the market. That's why I wanna help you make a smart move based on your unique circumstances and financial situation. Whether you're a buyer or seller, I'm here to guide you through the process and help you make the best decision for your future. If you're a potential home buyer, let's talk about your financial situation 
and what a comfortable payment looks like for your lifestyle. Contact me today for a complimentary buyer consultation where we'll talk about all of this. If you're considering selling your home, now might be the best time to do it to, you know, take advantage of being close to peak pricing. Contact me for a complimentary seller consultation where we can discuss your options and how to get the most out of your investment. Remember, real estate is always a smart investment in the long run, but it's important to consider your financial situation today and make informed decisions. So let's work together to make your real estate dreams a reality.